You can bet in a heartbeat that I make quality videos. Don't need money, don't take fame. Don't need no credit card to ride this train. It's strong and it's sudden, and it's cruel sometimes. But it might just save your life. That's the power of love. You look worried, Sans. Me? Worried? <laughs> you know I'm too lazy to act like that. Well, that's not true. I'm worried about the day you stop giving me my ketchup refills. If I was ever in my right mind, I would have stopped giving you refills until you paid that tab you keep shirking off. But when am I ever going to be in my right mind? <laughs> You're too kind, G. <sighs> it must be pretty serious if you brought them here with you. It's that obvious, huh? You don't usually go many places with just the two of you. Is something wrong? Let's just say, for everyone's sakes, I hope I'm just overreacting. The kid has been having these episodes. They're getting a lot more frequent. Whatever they think they're seeing, it's pretty bad. If someone's messing around with them... Heh. <laughs> what? It's just funny. I've noticed how you act when it comes to Frisk. You almost seem as if you're their father. <laughs> <coughs> oh god, Grilps. Me? A dad? That's your best one yet. Besides, I'm way too young and handsome to be a father. <laughs> So, you still want that ketchup refill? Or is your mouth still full from your foot? Cut me some slack, G. It's been a long day. <laughs> oh, hey, kid. You have fun up there? Uh huh. Heh. <laughs> Can't go wrong with a little Huey Lewis, eh? <sighs> so, kiddo, let's talk about what happened today. Oh, oh, that. <laughs> Uh, see, I had a bad sleep on account of that scary movie I watched with Undyne. It kind of messed with my head and made me jump at shadows, and... Kid. Uh... I'm not in a very humorous mood, so I want the truth. What are you seeing, Frisk? What are you trying to hide from me? Don't. Lie. <laughs> we had a good run. Right? Paps enjoys exploring different pastas, driving his car. He really likes the training you all do with him in Undyne. Asgore is content with all that gardening he does. Tori's school is ranked the highest in the city. Undyne just broke her bench pressing record with her gym class. Huh, <laughs> she said it was 11 kids this time. Alphys is doing lots of cool research at the university. Everyone is happy. Three years. I tried to keep myself from getting my hopes up at first, thinking it was all going to disappear again. But now, after all this time, I've never cared so much, or felt so... at peace. I'd hate to think it was still all for nothing. If this is really- Sans, I made you a promise about that. I'm not breaking it. Then tell me the truth! Uh-huh. Kid, you nearly got run over today. And then after that, you have another breakdown like you used to? Acting like you're watching something... horrible. I'd be lying if I said it hasn't gotten me a bit rattled. Huh. <sighs> you know, maybe it was against my better judgment, but I care about you, bud. We all do. So try not to suffer in silence here. I probably know better than most how that can really mess someone up. Yeah, Frisk. Don't suffer in silence. Go on. Tell that piece of garbage comedian everything that we, or rather, you, did to everything and everyone he cares about. Just because you could. He's not garbage. And I didn't do it just because I could. You keep telling yourself that. You don't know anything. Uh. It's not that I don't want to tell you. It's just... 
I can't. You can't. Kid, maybe you missed the whole don't suffer in silence spiel. Sans! Please try to understand. Mm, I just can't. <sighs> okay, kid. Thanks a lot, G. Yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. Um, may I have some chocolate milk instead, Mr. Grillby? Chocolate milk? Since when did you drink that? You always get regular milk. True. I guess you could say I'm acting a bit out of character. Huh? Hmm. Funny. You sounded almost like you were implying something there. Well, you gonna throw me a bone or what? Risk. I don't know what you're talking about. You think I'm not in my right mind or something? Putting on a charade? Frisk! Stop talking! What's the matter? Afraid he'll catch on? I said shut up! But maybe he could actually help us. Stop! Kid? <laughs> huh? Uh. Oh, gee. What was that about? Are you- I'm fine. No cuts. But... Let's talk about something else. Please? Uh, hmm. If that's what you want, Frisk. <laughs> okay, okay. I got one. You ready? What's green and has wheels? Uh, I don't know. A green bike? Grass! I lied about the wheels! <laughs> oh god, kid. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> Okay, this has really been bugging me. How do you even eat without opening your mouth? Mm, magic. Uh, maybe you both should go home. It's late and you both look exhausted. We look awesome. Well, Mr. Grillby is right about it being late. We should get going. Fair enough. Better take a shortcut, though. If you go through that blizzard out there, Tori will give me the cold shoulder. Sans, you do know what happens when you take shortcuts while overtired, right? Oh, come on, G. You make it sound like I'm gonna send us into a wall or something. Hmm. Oh, where are they? Ah! <laughs> <sighs> uh, Grillby's laughing at me now. I know it. Oh, hey, Tori. Sans the skeleton, if this is going to become a common occurrence, then where is my child? I'm up here! Huh? Oh, goodness. Just, you know, hanging around. <laughs> That's the